Uh, okay, I can uh, certainly praise the Lord. 30 something years ago, I uh, got baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit speaking in tongues and uh, at the Vogue in, uh, in Adelaide. And uh, I got healed of a whole bunch of things, smoking and and uh, a foul mouth and drinking and drugs and all sorts of other things. Not that there's that much more, I guess. I put a lot of it in, uh, but I got healed of all of it. Um, and actually that was uh, um, uh, against what I really intended. I, I wanted to have my cake and eat it too, so I figured I could get saved and also do all the things I wanted to do, but the Lord had other ideas. So uh, so he healed me 40 cigarettes a day and I went from a smoker to a non-smoker and I used to drink every day and and all weekend and I got healed of that and I used to uh, take all sorts of illicit substances on a very, very regular basis and I got healed of that and just without any effort at all, in fact, effort to the contrary and still he just grabbed me, got me kicking and screaming and saved me and brought me along. And uh, and then for a, a, quite an extended period of time, I was um, I was outside the fellowship, out in the world, and uh, and I'm here to tell you, in case you don't know, that there's there's absolutely nothing on offer out there that you can't get tenfold better here. And the Lord, amazingly, um, if you want any proof of His grace and mercy, He just held me in His hand when there were things where my back was against the wall and uh, and I can remember praying for things and the Lord was just there. Just like he said, he'll never leave us or forsake us and he never left me or forsook me. That's a word. I think that's a word um, uh, at all in all of that time. And uh, and it's uh, yeah, it was amazing. And um, so uh, so now I'm back and I'm, the, the, uh, the thing that I'm enjoying the most is... Uh, uh, which I enjoyed quite a lot, actually, in uh, in uh, before uh, before my divergence, uh, was um, was uh, witnessing. Oh, I really have a blast witnessing. I really, I, I think half of it is listening to what the crazy stuff that people bring <laughs> throw back at you. But um, uh, but I'm really enjoying it. So um, I'm getting the opportunity to witness to a whole bunch of people, and and uh, when I ask them you know, what you must do to be saved. It makes my head spin some of the answers that I'm getting. And it's so good to have a gospel that is just really straightforward. It's down the line. You can just say it. You can open up the Bible and you can just point to the scripture. And there it is. And of course, it's always my interpretation, but um, mm-hmm. but it's a heck of an interpretation and I can't find any other way of interpreting it much as I've tried. So um, so I just can praise the Lord that um, that he um, he put me in a fellowship second to none. He held me in, a, in his hand when I don't really understand why, other than the fact that it was his promise and it's yeah and amen, and he did it. And, um, and it's still after all these years, here I still am and here I intend to stay. Hallelujah. Amen.